sending love, health, happiness, and prosperity to you watching this video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Aisha, a family nurse practitioner, and in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know on how to pick a good nursing school. Before I jump into the video, I want to quickly say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. I appreciate you. And to my future subscribers, I'm thanking you in advance. This channel is all things nursing. If you're an aspiring nurse or an aspiring nurse practitioner, this channel is for you. Now, let's jump into the video. The first thing you want to look at when deciding on how on deciding on which nursing school to pick because we're only picking good nursing schools right is their accreditation status so get your notes out i am going to give you everything you need to know and i have written some things down too so the first thing is going to be the accreditation status right so there are two accrediting bodies and the purpose of these accrediting bodies are to make sure that the schools are providing a quality education to the nursing students. And it's really for uh, the public's safety. In addition to the quality of standard education, we also want to make sure, the, the accrediting bodies also wanna make sure that the schools are keeping up with evidence-based practice because things are always changing in healthcare. And so, that is another reason why you want to make sure your school is accredited. So the first one is going to be the CCNE or the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education. Now this accrediting body is up under the AACN, which is the American Association of Colleges of Nursing. But you want to make sure that your school, sorry that ring light, is accredited by the CCNE. CCNE. The other accrediting body is the ACEN right here. Okay. You want to make sure your school is accredited by one of these. The ACEN is going to be your accreditation commission for education in nursing, right? So you can look on your school's website to see which accrediting body they are up under, or you can go right to the source. I will go right to the source. I'm going to link down in the description box below the, the source, the websites you can actually go to to look up your school's information or the school that you are inquiring about. You can look up their information. Now, when you go to their website, it is going to list things like, you know, the school, the location, their accreditation status, when they got their initial accreditation, when their last visit was, when their next visit is, when their accreditation is up, and what else? I have my notes here. You can, you can also look, yeah, when their current accreditation expires, when it's up, you can also look at who is the chief nurse administrator for that campus. And on both websites for the chief nurse administrator, you can, um, find their contact information. So if you want to contact them, you can, if you would like to. Um, so yeah, and I have here. So on the CCNE's website, there's going to be a link to the school. So when you go to the website, you look at your school, there will be a link to the school. And on the ACEN's website, there will they will list if there's any stipulations to their accreditation status. So this is going to be key. Now there are some programs that are approved by your state board, but they're not accredited. I would not go to a school that's approved but not accredited because, again, the quality of nursing education, you want to make sure um, your school is accredited. And also, let's say you want to further your education you are going to have to have had a degree from a school that is accredited for graduate school. They're gonna to wanna to see your transcript and they're gonna to wanna to see your degree from where you got your RN 
degree or your alien uh, degree from. So, going to one of these is going to be essential and in your best interest. Again, you want to make sure that you get the best nursing education and clinical experience that you can. Okay? So, that's number the one. The second way to know that you are going to a good nursing school or when you're looking up nursing schools, you want to make sure that it is an approved program, right? So I live in Texas and I will link down below how to see the programs that are approved in the state of Texas. Now, again, I mentioned earlier, some programs may be approved by your state board of nursing, but they may not be accredited. You want to make sure that it's your school is both. Nine out of 10 times, usually if the school is accredited, it's going to be approved by your state board. But just because it's approved by your state board, it may not be accredited. I hope that makes sense. You may have to replay that again. You want to make sure that it's approved because if it's not, you won't be able to take your NCLEX. Okay? So that's why you want to make sure it's approved. Number three reason to know that you're going to a good nursing school is going to be your NCLEX pass rate. So you want to make sure that the students that are graduating from your school's program are passing the NCLEX. The NCLEX is the licensure exam that gives you the privilege of being an RN. Not just going to nursing school. You have to pass the NCLEX, right? So you want to make sure that your school has at least a 90% NCLEX pass rate. That is the minimum. Anything below that, I just personally, I wouldn't do it. I, I, I would not do it. Uh, I will link below the NCLEX pass rates for the schools in Texas. And if you're not in Texas, this is a quick Google search. You can type in NCLEX pass rates for... Florida or California or Oklahoma or Tennessee, whatever state you live in, you can look up the NCLEX pass rates and for each program and it will tell you um, all of that information. Yeah, so when I Googled the NCLEX pass rate for Texas schools, Texas schools are averaging an 86.7 NCLEX pass rate, which is higher than the national average of 82 percent so that is a very good sign that texas is producing um, schools that texas has schools that are passing majority of their students the in the students are passing the NCLEX and so when you go to the website that i'm going to link below it is going to have a spreadsheet that lists the school the location the first time candidates how many they sent and then how many attempted and then it's going to list the exam rate for the first time test takers, right? That's important because you want to pass it on the first time. Number four, you want to make sure that your program does clinical hours that you actually have to go to and attend and that they are population specific. And what I mean by that is you want to make sure that you're, you're going to do pediatric clinical with a pediatric population. You're going to do your acute care clinical in an acute care setting, like ICU or emergency. You're going to do your adult health in med surge, and you want to do your OB or, you know, your women's health in an OB setting. But, right. You want to make sure that your school is going to provide you with clinicals that are population specific and because if it's a good school, they're going to have contracts with local facilities that will meet that requirement. Okay. The last one is going to be job placement, right? Um, if you're attending a good nursing school, the students are going to be graduating and they're going to be getting jobs with no issue. If you're not attending a good nursing school, they may have trouble um, getting jobs. Okay. So. That's just a heads up. I didn't have a job. I didn't have any trouble getting a job when I graduated. Um, I had actually had a job before I graduated. So just, just something to consider, okay? Okay, 
So I have written down some red flags that I want you to take note of. And these are kind of the kinds of programs that I want you all to stay away from. If you if they have any and or all of these, I want you to stay away from them, right? If they're not accredited. And remember for accredited, I mean by the, the ones that I mentioned earlier in the video, but I'm gonna write it on here. If they're not accredited by either of these bodies, red flag. Trash NCLEX pass rate. That's self-explanatory. Again, you want to make sure your NCLEX pass rate for the school is at least a 90%. Clinicals are all at one place or overseas or you don't even have to do them. Mm-mm. Red flag. What does it say? Oh, they only take cash payments. Red flag, your school should accept cash payments, but they should also accept forms of payment like student loans, and I mean federal student loans uh, and or state student loans. Ca only cash payment, big red flag. No entrance exam, or it's easy to get in. Most nursing schools are going to require you to take either an entrance exam, either the HESI or the T's, right? M Most nursing schools are going to require you to take an entrance exam and it will be competitive and challenging to get in. Many times there are wait lists. In my case, I ended up moving to a whole different city. So it's going to be a challenge to get in because they're in high demand and the bandwidth in which the schools have is not enough for them to accept all of the students that apply. So if it's easy to get in, that's a big red flag, right? Allow you to pay for your degree. If they allow you to pay for your degree without you having to do any of the coursework or clinicals, no, because it's it's a safety issue, right? The clinical is where you learn how to be a nurse. The coursework is, I don't think it's all, some, it's, it's, there is some fluff, to be frank, but it's necessary, right? So you can be a safe nurse. And then they tell you to take your NCLEX in a different state. No, big red flag. So take notes oh, I hope they're, okay take notes uh take a picture of this um keep these in mind and again refer back to the video and what we what i discussed earlier as far as how to pick a good nursing program so again to be a good nursing program you want to make sure that it's accredited by the ccne or the acen you want to make sure that it is a, an approved program by your state board of nursing. Again, just because it's approved, that doesn't mean it's accredited. You want to make sure that your school has both, okay? Third, you want to make sure that there is at least a 90% NCLEX pass rate. Fourth, you want to make sure that you are going to clinical um, that is population specific. And then job uh, placement rates so that is what I would say for you how you know whether or not you have a good nursing school or you're considering a good nursing school I hope this video helped you all if you like this video please subscribe please share to someone who is an aspiring nurse and until next time be blessed and take care